Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company and I want to show you how you can test the hardness of your water because I just did a video about installing a water softener and I immediately got a bunch of questions about I don't know if it's working right, I don't know how to tell if my water is soft or hard now because it doesn't feel soft, like what is that supposed to mean? So I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to test it yourself and you can do a before and after test or you can even do it while your system's hooked up and you can test the water hardness with this easy kit. This right here is the AquaSure system that I put in. I have a video on here. I'll put a link at the end for it in case you guys want this system. I was having doubts after all the questions that I got about, I don't know if my system's working right. How do I tell if it's actually softening the water? I got one of these water hardness testing kits. I'll put a link for them in the description because these kits are, I think, the best. And it's really because of the range that it has. And what I mean by that is there's different testing kits that have different sensitivity. And so they'll go from like zero to 100 and 100 to 200. Well, that doesn't really tell you a lot. You want to be 50 and below 50 to zero, which actually means soft water. That 50 to 100, 100 into 150 or anywhere in between. The smaller that we can get in between those numbers and tell different amounts of hardness is where we can actually fine tune this. I don't need to know if my water is from one to 100. I need to know if it's from one to 50, 50 to 100, or anywhere, like I said, in between. So what I found is some testing kits that actually have those ranges, and they're a little bit more specific to what you might wanna actually see, and not just finding out if the water's hard or maybe soft. So this kit right here is what I recommend. So like I said, I installed this water softening system, and as far as I can tell, everything looked like it was working well. I did feel a difference once I started showering and seeing, you know, the water in the faucets and stuff. There was less scale and, uh, you know, evidence of the water being hard. But I really wanted to check it, so I got some of these water hardness testing strips. And this is what I'm talking about right here, the different color scales that we can test from. And it goes from 0 to 25 to 50 to 120 to 250 and 425. 425 is extremely hard water. And out here in Las Vegas, we have somewhere between the high 200s, if not close to the 400s almost. So I'm expecting to see like a copper red or not even a copper red. I'm starting to see like this sunburnt red or this burnt orange. And the goal is to try to have it down to this green or if not this really light brown. The other testing strips that I saw, they went literally from like 0 to 50 or 0 to 100 and above. And I was thinking... I need to know if this thing is, you know, 50 and under is where we want to see. It tells you right here, this is considered soft, hard, and very hard. And if you live out here in Vegas, you know we have very hard water. So I'll show you guys how easy it is to use these. And then you can tell right away if your system is actually working or not. So don't mind the mess I have here, but I wanted to show you. Get yourself a little cup that you can put about an inch or two of water in. And to test the water hardness, you want it from a hard water source, which is unfiltered. So like in my case, I already have the water softener hooked up. All houses have the outdoor spigot, so any spigot on the outside of the house, or the cold water in your kitchen. That is one of the only unfiltered hard water sources inside your house. It's the kitchen cold water only. The hot water will be soft. The reason they do that is that you usually want to give your plants hard water. You, want to, you don't want to give them filtered water. You could kill your plants. So they always put a branch off of your unfiltered water all the ones that go to the outdoor spigots, and then there's usually one that runs all the way to your kitchen just for the cold water. So I tested both of those, outdoor and indoor, and then I'll show you two different sources inside where I just tested it to make sure that this was actually softening the water. So what you're gonna do is take one of these strips from inside this container, you're gonna put it in your two inches of water, this is from outdoors at the outdoor spigot, so it's my hard water. You put it in there for about two seconds, and then we shake it off and let it sit for about 15. Then I'm going to do the same thing with another test strip, and I'm going to actually do this with the water that comes out of the soft water spigot, which is going to be my hot water inside the kitchen or any other faucet inside of my house. The only hard water faucet is going to be the cold at the sink. So I'm going to do one at the hot water in the sink. So I'm going to do cold water at the sink and hot water at the sink. And then I'm also going to do one inside the house at a random sink in one of the bathrooms and I will do it with, uh, let's say, like the cold water there. And I can tell instantly after the 15 seconds that this is my original one from outdoors, and these are two from inside, like the hot water sink and one of my bathroom sinks. And you can compare it right here. I'm all the way down to probably, I would say, close to zero, if not definitely between 25 and zero on the inside soft water sources. 
and then outdoor is just what I expected, somewhere here in the 200s at least. And I can tell right away that there's a huge difference between the water before the system and the water after the system. I mean, it's not even close with these color codes. So I didn't have any doubt that I hooked up the system right, but when I was getting a lot of comments on my other video, there was a couple people that said that they didn't know if it was softening their water or they, they believe that it wasn't. Somebody actually even commented, uh, my water says it's 42, I, it's still hard, what do I do? My system's not working. And I had to tell them, I said, anything under 50 is technically considered soft water. So do a test at your hard water, like outside, and then compare it to the system inside and see if it's above 50 and now you're getting below 50. Because if your water outdoor is also 50, well then you got soft water already and this thing's not really grabbing much. But I can tell a huge difference right here in those colors that I have really hard water here in Vegas and then I have pretty soft water after this system. So I'm 100% convinced that this system is working and it's doing a really good job. The only thing that I noticed is that when I'm showering and stuff, I don't feel like really slippery and stuff like with the water. And I noticed with other systems that you do get that soft water kind of feel and like instantly you're like, oh my God, the water feels so different. I can definitely tell that whatever I just did made my shower feel different. So I've noticed with this system, I don't get that like slimy feel, which is supposed to be a good thing because your water is so soft and slippery. But um, I didn't notice that. So that's kind of what made me doubt it when I started uh, getting comments from a couple people. But overall, everybody I've heard really loves the system and it has great reviews. So I will put links to this system in the bottom of this video as well. And then I'll attach the video that I show the assembly and installation of this. The installation of all these water softeners are basically the same, but this one specifically, I'll show you detailed how to assemble and how to hook it up and kind of like what to look for and how it should operate. So I hope that was helpful. And now you can check your water hardness yourself. Make sure you grab some of these on the link there below so you can test it. And then if you have some extra because these come like 150 in a pack, give them to some friends and then let them check their water too, you know. Um, I used a few of them on the different sources here and I have probably 145 more strips left. But for $10, you can't really beat it. So again, the link's there in the bottom. If you guys have any questions or anything about the installation about these systems, let me know. Otherwise, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already, hit that like button for me. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next build.